everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carl and I create content all around Korea traveling around. In today's video what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the SRT from Dongtan Station all the way down to Busan. We're gonna go visit a temple and we're gonna meet up with some friends. Um, so I suppose let's get started. We've actually made it here. <laughs> it's literally like a subway. We're on floor seven. So this is our car number. And uh, yeah, it's an experience. We're on the seventh floor below, <laughs> below everything else. And we are going to, uh... <laughs> you gotta get the air on while you can. Um, <laughs> We will definitely, I'll take you around the train just so you can see what it's like. Uh, I want to say it's probably going to be crossed between a train and a subway, but um, so far quite easy. Just a little bit difficult to book unless you come to the station. Other than that, um, yeah, let's go check it out. It was nice, it was just any other train. There was quite a lot of leg room, which doesn't happen very often in Korea. <laughs> like the flights are very compact. Um, and the ticket was about $47 to get to Busan. So definitely would do this way from now on. Wouldn't want to be on any longer. <laughs> like the two hours and 20 minutes was definitely long enough, but uh, yeah, definitely worthwhile. village um, so this is a very unique village in Busan Korea um, obviously the backdrop is very beautiful it is very similar to Brazil Colombia like Latin America um, so we're just here for a quick pit stop we thought we'd have a coffee and a little bit of a walk around before we head over to the temple um, but it's definitely a place not to miss when you uh, come to Busan look at it it's beautiful So the next place we are going to head to is um, Sebusa Temple. So that's really cool carvings. And yeah, we're just going to take the nice incline up. All right, so I am at the top of the trail. Um, it didn't actually take that long, probably about 15, 20 minutes. It's a very much incline, but definitely doable. Um, and yeah, let's hope that 
we're quite high up so I'm sure the views are gonna be spectacular so let's check this out This actual temple was built in about 1920, I think 1927 to be specific. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. So the thing that's unique about this temple, it has some carvings in the stones, which we are going to check out. But yeah, check out these colors. So Iris, how does it feel? No sleep. I slept for almost 24 hours. That was a freaking hike. Oh my <laughs> god. It's so hot too. It's so hot. It's a nice view though. It's really pretty. So we're inside one of the um, buildings here in the temple and we have beautiful Buddha statues. It's quite empty just so I thought it would be a great opportunity to take you around. Um, it's super stunning. It is custom to take your shoes off obviously before entering these so just remember that. But. So yeah there's a lot of little buildings um, all around here and um, places to pray, make donations. Um, like I mentioned, you should take your shoes off before entering. Um, there's a few people praying, so it's just about being respectful. Uh, that's why I stopped filming earlier, because someone wanted to come in and pray. Um, and yeah, um, the thing that this temple is famous for is the stone carvings, which we shall see now. going to be heading down. Right, so. 
We are going to be heading down now. We made it to the temple. We checked it out. It was really cool. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the things that uh, I suppose both of us actually didn't realize until we actually come in here is how green and beautiful Korea is. Because uh, when you think of Korea, a lot of people think of just Seoul. Um, so yeah, this is definite place that is worth the, the walk up. It's a beautiful day out. You could have a little picnic at the top. The temple is this. Byeongpongam Sekbosa. Sorry. And here is all the beautiful information which you probably can't see. All you gotta know is that it was made in 1930 by a priest and he did stuff. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Go check it out. All right, so we are here at Hyundai Beach. I'm here with Iris in her colorful swimsuit, and we're just dipping our feet in the water a little bit. It's nice and cool, and Hi everyone, that is it. So it is the, the, we went to the village, the temple, and now we're finishing off the beach. Um, definitely a good trio of places to go while you're in Busan. If you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day, bye. <laughs>